Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you two ways you can access a SharePoint search schema. So let me explain to you what I'm talking about. So uh, a while ago, I actually recorded another video on managed versus crawled properties. And this is where I explained how you can um, essentially create your own managed properties and connect them to various you know crawl properties uh, and essentially create your own custom search uh, experiences uh, now uh, one thing i would like to show in this video is um, uh, you know essentially two ways for you to access this uh, search schema search schema is where you actually do the mapping all right and that's where you map the uh, crawled property that's generated by SharePoint to the, uh, you know, custom managed property. But there are actually two places where you can do that, and it's super important to understand the difference between the two. So let me give you um, uh, a use case now. So let's say I need to manage, I created some, uh, I don't know, libraries and, you know, maybe with uh, some with, with metadata, custom metadata, and so on. And I want, uh, I'm on a given site, right? So I want to maybe um, just create a unique search experience uh, on this particular site, uh, just the site. So in this case, I just might, uh, you know, just might access the search schema on this particular site. Uh, the way you would do it, you would go behind the scenes. Obviously, you have to be the site owner for this. So uh, gear icon, uh, site information, and view all site settings. And then under site collection administration, you would see search schema, all right? And this is the schema it does take. Yeah, it took a few seconds to load, uh, but it's very important. Uh, whatever changes you do in terms of managed, you know, curl properties, they would apply just on this site collection, just on this board site that I have. All right. And of course, here, this is where you can uh, create your managed properties, connect them to the existing curl properties, and so on. Uh, once again, I actually recorded a separate video on that. You can find it on uh, my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, now, uh, here's another use case for you, though. Uh, let's say now I want to create some managed properties, but you know what? I want to walk uh, maybe and do, a, you know, a, build a custom search experience that will, um, you know, contain multiple sites, all right? So I can no longer just, you know, walk on my site and define those, you know, crawl properties here. Uh, and manage properties here, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, so in this case, you would need to map those uh, uh, crawled and managed properties at the tenant level. Now, for this to work, you do need to be a SharePoint admin, all right? Uh, because if you are just a, an owner of a given site, it doesn't, uh, it's not enough, all right? It doesn't work that way. You do need to have access uh, to the SharePoint admin center. So let me navigate there. And let's load our SharePoint Admin Center. So we go to SharePoint Admin Center, of course. And then we click on uh, More Features, All right? Now, this is a bit of, a, I guess, a classic, you know, SharePoint uh, feature. That's why it's kind of here, all right? Uh, just like that. But uh, the what you want to click on under Search, Open, right here. And what this will open uh, you will notice that the this screen, uh, you know, right, it's back to kind of classic days. But uh, one of the choices here, the top choice, would be manage manage search schema. And when you click here, uh, you will see the difference. All right, so it will actually look a bit like uh, the other search schema, but now this is a tenant wide. All right, remember how uh, you know previously it said site collection and stuff, but now this is. This is uh, a global tenant-wide search schema. So if you are going to build a search experience, let's say uh, you have five different sites and they all have different libraries with metadata, right? Let, let's say invoices, and you want to create a custom search experience where you will uh, where you will aggregate uh, all these invoices based on some um, you know some uh, custom metadata. At this point, you will need to, um, you know, find your crawled properties and map them to and create or create managed properties here at the tenant level. 
So very, very important. Now, of course, in order for this to work, like I said, the main difference is you have to be the SharePoint admin, all right? So uh, you do need to have SharePoint admin access to um, create uh, custom manage properties and map them to corresponding curl properties. So that's really the difference. Wanted to show you those two places where you can access the search schema. Hopefully you understand the difference now. Um, as always, uh, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. And uh, thank you very much. Goodbye.